Welcome to MovieZilla. Today, we will be reviewing the film, Nobody. Released in 2021. The movie starts out with the main character, Hutch, badly beaten and in handcuffs. He lights up a cigarette and opens a can of tuna. He then pulls a cat out of his coat. The music stops and two police officers are interrogating him. Rewinding time by a few days, Hutch is living a normal life. He slowly goes through each week, showing how mundane and repetitive his life is. Hutch wakes up in the middle of the night and walks around the house, hearing noises coming from his living room. Surprised, he sees a couple of men with flashlights. He quietly grabs a golf club and a phone. They pull out a gun asking for money and valuables, proceeding to take his watch. Hutch notices a small bird tattoo on the robber's hand in quiet acceptance. Hutch's son then runs in and tackles one of the robbers. As he is fighting the male robber, the female robber turns her back toward Hutch and points her gun at the son. Hutch walks behind and raises his golf club but hesitates and orders his son to let him go. The two robbers escape while the son is mad with Hutch for letting them go. Hutch has an internal monologue that's cut off by a police officer questioning him. They make slight judging remarks about how Hutch didn't fight back. He lays on his couch and is joined by his daughter while they drift off to sleep. Hutch wakes up late to take out the trash showing that the day is starting out wrong. The family is eating breakfast and the son asks Hutch if he could interview him for a history project about veterans. Hutch tells him that he was just an auditor and that his story would be boring. He suggests talking to Hutch's father who was actually deployed and has been through real life experiences. In quiet acceptance of their boring life, the parents then take the kids to school. Glancing around the neighborhood, the neighbor cracks a joke about Hutch being robbed while showing off his new car. Frustrated, Hutch takes the bus to work. He enters his office as a co-worker comes and asks why he let the robber go. As a joke, he then pulls a gun out to scare him. He gives Hutch the gun to take care of his family from other attacks. Frustrated again, Hutch puts the gun in the freezer. We later see Hutch is trying to buy the office building, but the owners are refusing to sell it. They believe they deserve a better offer. Staring out the window of his office, he then closes the door and blinds. He opens a drawer and reveals an old radio in the wall. It is connected to another person. He talks about the robbers, describing the culprits in perfect detail, including their rough ages, model of handgun, clothing, and their mannerisms. Hutch is revealed to be a very observant person who has a deeper past than previously thought, revealing most shockingly that he noticed the gun was empty. Later, Hutch visits his dad at a nursing home and talks to him for a bit. When he returns home, he realizes his daughter's cat bracelet was stolen. This finally pisses him off to the point that he realizes he needs to find the robbers. He goes back to his father's room and opens the closet. He reveals a box with a handgun, an old FBI badge, and some ammo. His father wakes up and asks what he is up to. Hutch answers that he has something he needs to do. The father doesn't question him and lets him go. Later, Hutch is on a bus and goes to multiple tattoo shops. He is looking for someone who recognizes the tattoo of the bird he saw on the woman's wrist. After a long search, he enters a tattoo shop and flashes his FBI badge. An older man exposes him and says that it is expired. The clerk asks who he is and prompts the guards. Hutch is surrounded and pulls out a wad of cash to bribe him. He waves the cash around and as he does this the old man notices a tattoo on Hutch's wrist. Two diamonds and two spades. This alarms the old man. He thanks him for his service and immediately leaves, locking the door behind him with several locks. The rest of the men get intimidated and give him the info he needs. A woman is then seen making tea and speaking Spanish. She calls for someone named Luis. Hutch appears from the shadow and punches the man, pulling out his gun. He takes his watch back and asks for the kitty cat bracelet, but the man doesn't know what he's talking about. He hears a baby crying and goes to a room to see a baby with an oxygen mask. Feeling pity, Hutch leaves and gets on a bus, which is shortly after, struck by a car. 
multiple drunk men come out of the car and belligerently begin harassing the other bystanders, including a pretty girl sitting alone on the bus. This makes Hutch slightly happy as he escorts the bus driver out of the bus. He then empties his gun's ammunition onto the floor in front of them in a provocative challenge and fights the group of thugs. In a grisly battle, Hutch is stabbed and uses the knife to fight the rest. After being thrown out the window, he walks back into the bus to finish them. He makes sure not to kill any of them, and while severely injuring them, he even goes as far as doing first aid on one of them to keep them from choking on their own blood. He later returns home and sees his wife. She doesn't react to him being injured and begins to apply first aid. They both go to bed in silence. In Russia, Yulian walks into a Russian club. He seems to be the owner. He goes on stage and starts dancing with the singer. He then goes to a back room and meets with other men who question his actions. To prove he is not to be trifled with, Yulian kills a random man who was bothering him. He then receives a call and finds out that his brother was beaten and paralyzed, revealing that it was one of the guys that was wasted by Hutch. Yulian questions the other men and is infuriated when he finds out one man beat them all. Unfortunately, one of them has a Metro card that belonged to Hutch, revealing his personal information. While cooking breakfast, Hutch receives a call from the man from the radio. He calls to inform him that the Russian mob is after him. Hutch quietly takes in the information and gets to work. He is texted to go and meet with the barber, which he does. At the barber shop, there is an old man surrounded by bodyguards. The man receiving a haircut hands him a document about Yulian. With the help of a tracker, Yulian tracks the Metro card to Hutch's father. Even though the hacker doesn't believe he is a threat, Yulian exclaims that he is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Attempting to get more information on Hutch, they realize that his entire personnel file is classified. Elsewhere, Hutch's family is eating lasagna for dinner. Hutch notices multiple vehicles approaching his home and he moves his family to the basement. He locks them down there and prepares to deal with the intruders, shutting down the power to his house. The men shoot the door locks and enter the house. Hutch takes out two with a bat, then proceeds to get a knife and kill another. He disarms one and uses their gun to shoot two more. He is ultimately tased and dragged from his house and into a trunk. Hutch breaks free from his cuffs and opens the trunk. Noticing he is on a highway, he realizes he can't leave yet. He finds a fire extinguisher and then crawls through the back of the car and shoots the extinguisher filling the car with exhaust. After causing a crash, he crawls out of the vehicle. He speaks with one of the assassins and explains his job as an auditor for the FBI. He was essentially an assassin. Hutch returns back home and calls his father to warn him about the situation. Hutch then gets home and cleans up. He gets his family out of the basement and they walk out of the house riddled with corpses. The mother takes the children far away for their safety while Hutch deals with Yulian. Hutch opens a compartment with bars of gold and other various goods, showing that his history has much more depth than initially revealed. Looking over at three surviving assassins, he begins to interrogate them. He then reminisces about a man he was ordered to kill who he decided to let go out of pity. He later found him living a normal life with a family. This was the reason why Hutch quit and decided to have a normal life as well. During his story, we see the three assassins are all dead. Hutch then finds the cat bracelet on the floor, thinking briefly back to his encounter. He sets fire to the house to get rid of the evidence and walks out with the gold and family mementos. He then takes his neighbor's car for a ride. Elsewhere, two men go to Hutch's father's room and try to kill him in his sleep. Expecting this, the father hid a shotgun under his blanket and shoots both of them. Bringing the gold to the factory he works at, Hutch then proceeds to buy the place with a real offer. Meanwhile, Yulian sees a video of his men's crashed car and sends every man he has to kill Hutch. During this ordeal, Hutch is preparing his factory for the final battle. It is also revealed the man on the radio is Hutch's brother Harry. Harry warns Hutch that he should not fight against the Russians. Hutch then goes to Yulian's storage, where he burns all the wealth he has accumulated over the years. 
Not realizing what has happened, Yulian notices Hutch sitting and eating dinner at one of his strongholds. Shocked by his boldness, Yulian talks to him and raises his hand. Immediately multiple guns are pointed at him. Hutch then moves a cloth to reveal a claymore on the table, attached to his finger. Should he move an inch, the explosion will kill everyone. Angered, Yulian orders everyone to leave. Hutch tells him that he burned his entire vault of wealth, shocking him. He makes a deal with Yulian to quit both their jobs, one as an auditor and the other as the wealth broker. Leaving him to ponder the decision, Hutch then leaves. In a rage, Yulian follows him in a car chase. Hutch drives to his factory and finds his father and brother Harry there to help him. They aid Hutch into the factory and the three of them get ready to fight off the Russians. Using the traps that Hutch set beforehand, they are revealed to have the upper hand. Harry fights off multiple Russians using his sniper and hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. With only a single bullet, he kills multiple Russians. Hutch's father, on the other hand, is using a shotgun, while Hutch sets more traps. The three of them are making short work of the attackers. The three family members unite in the middle of the factory having a final stand with the attackers. Yulian then appears and shoots Harry, while everyone runs out of ammo. Hutch fastens the claymore to the side of a bulletproof window and charges Yulian with it, triggering it in front of his face. With the attack over, police sirens are heard in the distance. Harry and the father leave while Hutch cleans up. Hutch calls his wife and leaves a message for her. Hutch also finds a cat, a can of tuna, and a painting covered in blood. He walks out with these items. The two officers from the beginning of the film are then seen asking Hutch who he is. The cat is eating tuna and Hutch is smoking his cigarette. He tells him that he is nobody. Both officers then receive a phone call from an unknown number and immediately let Hutch go. Three months later, Hutch and his family are looking for a new house in the middle of a tour. The realtor receives a call and says that it is for Hutch. He takes the call and then hangs up. He hands the phone back to the realtor and asks if the house has a basement.